Hi, I'm Spisa. I will now show you how I make my small uh, micro scale -like gliders, like this uh, micro Foca, 96 centimeters in span. Uh, the product that we, I will do is uh, this Swift S1. First, I start with uh, some plastic foam to the fuselage. It's uh, very easy to cut with a knife. Just follow the line. And this is for another micro foca. Very easy to cut. Voila almost finish <laughs> very flexible and almost undestructible this is uh, another project a fox next thing is uh, to round the edges What's out for your hands? And with a little more cutting and a little more rounding, you cover it with a fiberglass tape. very strong two to three layers and when you are finished it look like this then you cut a hole for the battery I use uh, three and uh, four triple A batteries for the glider for the tail brain I use a three millimeter depth on with uh, two layers of fiberglass tape and make a slice for the stabilizer and just uh, put it on with some tape the weight for the fuselage is uh, 60 gram for the Swift and this is a uh, H101 Salto another project 55 gram for the wings, I use a normal hot cutter and use a alu profile. And the airfoil for the Swift is a MH32. Hot wire cutter. And when uh, I have the two parts, I glue them together with uh, epoxy and uh, put out on a, a 3 millimeter Kevlar tube it's very important to uh, to put it on the top of the wing then I glue it in in the slice and uh, cover the wing with uh, fiberglass tape I'll show you why it's uh, very important to to put it in the top. You can see it's very stiff in that direction to positive G, but it's very uh, soft in that, but that will be a negative G. Next step is uh, to make some aliens, and I use three millimeter. I 
5 mm tape on. I cover with uh, two layers of fiberglass tape. Just make a slice for the wing in the uh, fuselage and uh, cut the aliens into the right length. And uh, for the hinge, I use uh, the fiberglass tape. This is the first step. As you can see, I have uh, made a little mistake in this wing, so I have to put a little uh, Kevlar tube at the top side. Now we are ready for the test flight. I think it was a lucky punch with the first trim. As you can see, it uh, flies very well. And the weight is uh, 240 grams. For this one I use uh, a pack set with the uh, servos. You can see a split S, no problem. But that uh, m the other microfocus I use a uh, uh, 17 gram servos. That's al also okay. Luckily, indestructible, not almost indestructible, but a nice flight ca ca characteristic. Now I just wait for the day with some wind to the at the slope. Split S again. Nice. Yeah.